Welcome to a new show on the Nerdy Lemon Podcast Network, Nerdy and Cozy. On this show, me and my pal Peyton discuss cozy games. What is a cozy game? It's one of those games you play on a rainy day while wrapped up in a blanket. Now, this episode is not going to be how our shows usually go. In reality, me and Peyton were just really excited to record something, so we hopped on to a quick recording session, and this is what we ended up with. Hope you all enjoy the show. You are muted. Even like I know it's just recording, but it feels like... Oh. <laughs> I was muted. There. You said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you drinking? Starbase Brewing. That is the coolest beer I've ever seen. I wanted to get it to make to make charro beans. Like two it takes 24 ounces of lager and um R H E B it's mostly Miller Light Bud Light type stuff. <laughs> and I saw this and I was like, I'm gonna get this. Cause it was there. And Patty was like, did you get it? Because it looks like outer space. I was like, no, that's not why I got it. That's exactly why you got it. I got it because I wanted it for the beans and it looked like it was a good beer. I don't think she believed me. Yeah. I don't believe you. It is the official brewery of Mars, but it's located in Austin. Well, that looks like a really cool beer. Does it taste decent? It, it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Man, I want a drink. I don't have any booze. Actually, you know what? <laughs> Leslie just got a bottle of Lagavulin. Of course, after we left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it was a gift. And he got her a bottle oh, that's of nice. uh, the, not the 12, but the one after that. Is it 16 or 18? I think 16, I think, is after after that. Yeah. I think it's 16 of of like the regular Lagavulin's because then there's like the Nick Offerman's and there's mm -hmm. various ages, I think. Yeah. So you all need to try that next time y'all come over because it's wasted on me. <laughs> I, mean, I think realistically it's wasted. It's wasted on me as well. I'm just like, yeah, it tastes good. <laughs> I really just want it. Tastes it tastes good. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It's delicious. <laughs> I, I just Googled like cozy switch game and it has like Stardew Valley, a short hike, which I've seen a short hike. There's also one called Coffee Talk. A short hike. I've never heard of that one. Cozy Groves, short, a short hike. Yeah, I that sounds my fun. my sister-in-law has it. It's a pretty cheap Oh my gosh, that looks game, adorable. I think. That's the other great thing about cozy games. Is that they're always super cheap. They're not going to be like flagship games. Yeah. It's eight. It's eight dollars. So that's perfect. Coffee talk. That's six dollars and forty nine cents. Oh, that's weird. Is it like a dating sim? Yeah, I'm not going to do that one. <laughs> it's a dating sim, isn't it? I, oh, this is it's a dating sim. But let me. <laughs> uh i'm gonna so this is this is a part of the game which uh, i think it's mostly a dating sim and there's like girls with horns and wings and stuff but you can do ooh. latte art <laughs> did you get the picture I, I see the picture of like making the latte art that's pretty cool <laughs> i feel like that would be the only thing you play yeah you can pour your milk <laughs> But you have to date five girls with horns in order to unlock this part of the game. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm looking at the screenshots. Be fun. I mean, you can play it if you want. <laughs> you know how much I love dating sims. Be fun. You and Leslie, like, play them together? Yeah. We, we flirt with each other in a dating sim. I bet we could, like, go to Timu. And get all the amiibos like really cheap. Oh, <laughs> uh, let me see if you can find amiibos. On that's TV. that's what I did for Zelda. What did you do for Zelda? On Zelda, I got like I got 
all of all of the amiibos, that, but they give them to you on like little cards, little thick plastic oh. cards that have like NFC chips in them, oh. like all of them for like $16 or something like that. <laughs> and it's great. All of them worked. All it of them absolutely work. Super sketchy, though. <laughs> no, it's great. Me and her sister had talked about getting a game called Power Wash. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, Power Wash. And she, <laughs> I got it and I started playing it. And she sees like everything I buy, like the purchases and stuff. So, um, she was like, "Oh, you got a game?" And I said, "Yeah." She said, "What'd you get?" It's called Power Wash. She said, "You bought a game. You paid money for a game where you wash things." <laughs> and I said, "Yes." <laughs> I think she said she thinks her dad has a pressure washer. <laughs> That if I really wanted to, I could just go. <laughs> you can go pressure uh, wash stuff at your in-laws. Go pressure wash <laughs> things in real life. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But they do they do expansion packs. So there's like a Final Fantasy VII expansion pack for pressure wash. A tomb. Yeah, for pressure wash. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're so serious? There's one that's Midgar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I have, I have the, I have the Final Fantasy. Seven one. There's one for Tomb Raider where you like uh, clean her house from like the original game. <laughs> there is a SpongeBob SquarePants one and a Back to the Future one that's new. Oh, yes. I've there's a Back to the Future add-on. I guess you wash the car. <laughs> you just wash a DeLorean. Yeah, probably. Probably the skateboard. There's probably quite a few things that you wash. <laughs> Like I was just going through my settings because my switch told me like, oh, you can go collect coins, platinum coins or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I don't know how to do that. So I just went into like my profile and I was looking and I had no idea that I have 150 hours in Tears of the Kingdom, which I'm sure for most people, that's, that's not a lot. But that's a lot. But it's, I, I, I feel like that's that's pretty. Uh, that's a pretty good number. <laughs> it's respectable. I got 175 in Breath of the Wild, and yeah, I don't know. Let me see. Animal Crossing is only 85. Now I want to see mine. Where's mine? <laughs> Super Mario Odyssey. I have one hour. <laughs> I couldn't get into Odyssey. I think I'm just not a Mario guy. So the only reason I have it is because we were at Walmart and we were looking at the clearance, and they had a bundle of the Nintendo switch pro controller and a code to download odyssey and mm. uh, odyssey. Yeah. For like $35. That's really good for a pro controller too. That's really good. Yeah. So the pro control is usually like as much as the game. Yeah, It's like 60 bucks. I was so just looking at them the other day. I think I just, yeah, I think I was just like, Patty, I'm getting this. I didn't even ask. <laughs> if i could get it i was just like this is a good deal i'm gonna get it <laughs> let me get me let me get my switch so i can and i've had like dragon ball z kakarot like four times as long as uh zelda and i don't have near as much time in it i can still hear you i just have to can you <laughs> yes where's my hi leslie you don't have to yell you're in headphones <laughs> Like <laughs> <laughs> but you're further away you're fur you're further away from whatever it is that you're listening <laughs> on so i feel like i have to talk louder <laughs> yeah i can hear leslie i heard leslie i'm sorry i can hear everything <laughs> that was, it was funny because like i i felt the need to yell but then you were also yelling i'm like you don't need to you don't need to yell. You're in my ears. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I didn't. Oh, you had headphones on. Yeah, I, I thought, on. like, I thought you, I didn't know you had uh, headphones no, on. Oh, no, that's sorry. perfect. That was hilarious. I did try to, like, I did try to, like, move away from the microphone, though. 
Oh, that's fun. Yeah, I've had Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, I feel like, so much longer than Tears of the Kingdom, but I've got a third of the time in Kakarot. <laughs> okay, let's see. So that just tells you that tells you the difference between a, a couple of games, you know? It does. So Stardew Valley, I have 140 hours. Ooh. It's, it's pretty it's pretty high. That's on your Switch. I bought it on Steam. Oh, nice. So I don't have it on my Switch because I wanted to play it on the computer. I would recommend it on the computer instead. Yeah. Oh, I don't see. Oh, there it is. Tears of the Kingdom, 165. Tears of the Kingdom? Pretty good. <laughs> I have 170. Oh, wait, no. Tears of the Kingdom. What about Breath of the Wild? Uh, what was it? Sheesh, I don't even know if that's on here anymore. I haven't played Breath of the Wild in a million years. Uh. Oh, look, you're online with pokemon legends yeah i actually really liked it so i didn't understand that pokemon legends is taking place in the past i didn't understand <laughs> isn't it right i <laughs> i really liked it I, I really liked that whole thing i had to read an article because i'm like because at the very beginning it referenced <laughs> like oh i just invented the pokeball i'm like wait where is like i didn't even know pokemon had a timeline and then I realized, yeah. Oh, I'm. I was sent back in time. I'm a modern child that was sent back in time. <laughs> yeah, and eventually everyone hates you, and then they're like, "Oh, you're great." <laughs> I don't have my Breath of the Wild info on here. <gasps> oh no! Does that mean you don't have your save data? I mean, I'm sure my save data is on here. I I, I lent that game to to a friend of mine, and I really like Tears of the Kingdom, anyways. I can't see myself going back. Yeah. Ooh. Knights of the Old Republic. I would kind of consider that a little cozy. Two. Knights of the Old Republic 2. Oh, yeah. I had got that as a deal, like both of them. And then I <laughs> proceeded. And then I got stuck. <laughs> I got stuck on a part that I got stuck on for that game what did i have that on like originally a long time ago back on the what like the xbox yeah i think it was the xbox yeah or the xbox or playstation PlayStation. i remember playing it and getting stuck at one particular part for like a long time and i eventually got past it i got to the very end but i could never beat the main (laughs) boss at the end yeah so i just stopped i stopped playing but then I was playing it on my Switch and I got stuck at the exact same spot. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. Like 10 years later. And I still. You still get stuck at it. Oh, that's funny. I still get stuck at it. Yeah. And then what I did is I just like put in the cheat codes and just became like all powerful. And <laughs> uh, Is there even cheat codes for the Switch? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, nice. I didn't even know that. I got to try that out. Yeah. Like learn any. I was going to say Jutsu. Learn any force power? <laughs> Jitsu. Is that Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> Not Naruto. Oh. <laughs> Probably a lot Other of different levels of, of nerd. A lot of different animes, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, well, that's that's too far nerdy for me. I don't I don't I don't watch that. <laughs> Quest is a game that I've actually been wanting to play. Oh, and the first one's on so. What's the this isn't on you Switch. Play. It's on PS5, but it's the cat game. It is it's a cat. And it's you're like oh. Cat Quest? Cat Quest? Or a different game? It's it's a oh, different stray? game. Oh, Stray. Stray. Yeah. Literally Spider-Man 1 through 3 and Stray are the only reason I want a PS5. Yeah. Stray is on Mac now. Ooh. Um, because I almost got it on Steam. It's like $30. That's not bad. But I played it. I was like, oh, Patty, you might you might like this game, Patty. It's about a cat. And she saw like the creepiest part of it. <laughs> where what is it? Where the cat is like hissing and like really upset. And because it's like a CGI cat, it looks really weird. And she was like, oh no, I don't wanna. No, thank you. <laughs> 
Yeah, but I almost got it because I think it was on sale for like twenty dollars not too long ago. But I was like, eh, I have other games that I should probably play, like Power Wash. <laughs> but um, <laughs> the thing that makes Power Wash to me like hard is that it doesn't use the gyroscope or whatever in it. <laughs> To like control where you're spraying. I love how much you're just very committed yes. to power wash. When <laughs> you have like you have critiques on the on the controller mechanics, you're like, oh, they really need to incorporate the gyro. Well, no, 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 no. On on the power wash on the power wash Reddit, which exists, you're going on to um, the power wash. That's Reddit. a big. That's a big. <laughs> yeah, because I I go to search for like, can you can you change the power wash control settings? And there's like a whole Reddit for it. And people are really upset that you can't like change the control settings to use the gyroscope. Like on Zelda, when you go to like aim, mm. you know, you can, you can move the switch. Can you adjust the controls for uh, the Pokemon game that I was playing with Arceus? Cause I've, I've caught myself. I don't know. It's been a while. Like I think trying to aim with that. And I'm like, Oh, I can't, I can't do that. Oh, I don't, remember what you can change mm -hmm. on there it's been a little while since i've played it i got like i said i got to like the very end but i knew what happens after the end so i i didn't want to do it because <laughs> i knew that i i knew that i would lose like instantly because i wasn't prepared <laughs> that's another common theme i've i've noticed with your gameplay is you get to the end and you get scared <laughs> and you're like i don't want to go i don't want to yeah do it. i still <laughs> I still technically have not beat Final Fantasy VII, <laughs> and I had that like in middle school. <laughs> oh, so a kid in school—it was like history class in middle school. A kid in class had like so Final Fantasy VII was a three disc I, game. I remember that, yeah. And he he only had the first disc <laughs> for some weird reason <laughs> in his backpack. He's like, "I have the first disc. I beat it. You can have it." <laughs> that and so i so I, I was like yeah of course my my brother had a regular place the ps1 and i started playing it and i was like oh my god this is the best game that i've ever seen in my entire life and I remember those feelings i think it might be one of the last times i ever felt that way about a game <laughs> i was like i was enthralled by it it was fascinating i i really i don't know how else to put it but um that was that experience. But I think I got to like the first boss after you, I think, blow up the Mako reactor. And it's that uh, scorpion robot had no idea what I was doing. I attacked it like no matter what. And you're not supposed to attack it when its tail is up, which I found out like six months later, <laughs> went back, beat him super easy. And then a friend of mine would come over and we would just take turns playing and watching it. And I think I remember beating the first disc at like two o'clock in the morning and i had to wake him up i was like greg wake up he's like what i said i, I think i beat the first disc he's like why did you wake me up before you before you did it because there's like you know a whole there's like a concluding video that takes you into disc two and then i had to like save up to buy the whole game for all three discs and and I do, I remember getting, going all the way to the very end and beating like Jenova Sifiroth and then getting to Safer Sifiroth. And <laughs> he had like a couple of like two, two move kills. Yeah. Uh, and I just wasn't ready. So like, I think I left that part of the game to try to go level up. And then I just never went back. <laughs> just looking, I just never went back. Like enjoyed just living the rest of my life too in the game. I had, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. I'm like, I'm going to go gamble <laughs> at the golden saucer. You know, I'm going to oh, go raise my chocobos. You could breed, you could breed chocobos in it. So, uh, uh yeah, I, I never went back. And then I think I got it again on, uh switch yeah. i think i got it no not switch i think i i think they do have oh, it on i switch. got it again on they have it on switch but i got it on my ipad mm. and started playing it on your ipad really mm -hmm. and uh, i started doing the same thing and i was just like you know what i'm gonna take my time i'm gonna grind i'm gonna be <laughs> like maxed out everything and i'm gonna go down there and just whoop safer sephiroth for all those years <laughs> man how long ago was middle school <laughs> 
<laughs> middle school. Oh, no. However long ago that was, it's been sitting. So the only thing I ever did was because I wanted to see how the game ended, but I didn't want to beat the game. Also, I don't think I could have beat the game was you could because they were CD-ROMs. The PlayStation games were CD-ROMs. So I put it in an old like my mom's. PC, it was like Windows ME, I think, and. You could get into like the system files, the game files, and you could watch all the cutscenes from it. Really? That's cool. On the computer. Yeah. So I just went in and, and just watched all like the last couple of <laughs> uh, parts of the game, uh, which was like kind of a bummer because it's really, really hard to get Omni Slash, like Cloud's like final big move. Yeah. <laughs> But even if you don't have it and you beat the game, he uses it, Ooh. which is like kind of disappointing. Like, I feel like you shouldn't get to. There should be two separate cut things. He shouldn't get to use it if you. Exactly. I feel like he shouldn't get to use it if I haven't shown him how to use it yet. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. I but yeah. I remember watching my older brother play Final Fantasy VII and it was like watching a TV show. Like, I would be so excited to watch. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't want to play because, like, I don't know. Like, there's, like, menu options yeah. and, like, the whole process <laughs> to, like, level up your character. I was just like, I don't want to do any of that. I just want to watch you play. And I would watch him play. And, like, I, I can't play Final Fantasy VII. Like, I can only watch it. Watch someone play. <laughs> I don't I'm trying to think if there were I don't remember if there were games like that because my brother when my brother first got a PlayStation I just wasn't allowed to play it <laughs> like, don't like, even if he just he was at home but just watching TV in the living room hey can I go play test drive no <laughs> he was just uh, he was just mean <laughs> that is just mean <laughs> but no I don't I don't know if they're so like when Danny would play, like when I first saw Tears of the Kingdom, I'm like, I could just watch somebody play Tears of the Kingdom. That's a lot of fun. And a lot of us did. Right. We just got on YouTube and watched other people play yeah. Tears of the Kingdom. I'm like, I want to see if I want to buy it. I'm going to watch other people play it for 50 hours and learn everything about the game before I want to spend the money. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly what I, what I did. I was just like, I don't know if I want to commit to this. I was like, no, I do. <laughs> it looks yeah. really good. But you get the good deal from Timo. It's it's hard to pass up. It was really worth it. What did I pay? Was it it was like yeah. 30. 30 bucks. Here's yeah, I think I paid I think I paid 30 or 30. I think I paid yeah. I think it was about that. Worth it. Worth it. And I don't know if yours did, but mine came in like a cool Japanese. No, case. I got the EU version. Mine has like the European rating mm -hmm. where it's like a like a W or something. <laughs> I don't know. Mine has like a, everything in on the front and inside and the back of the case is all in Japanese. That's super cool. Hey, there's cool. Animal Crossing. Why was Animal Crossing? In <laughs> so I'm looking at the cat game. And it reminds me of mm -hmm. a mixture of Don't Starve and Castle Crashes. Did you ever play Castle Crashes? Mm -mm. No. It looks exactly like that. And I would play it. It looks really fun. What was the other, what was the first game you said? Don't Starve. Have you seen that one? That one's a little bit more. It's a smaller game. Nope. The artwork is like really creative. It, it is probably the opposite of a cozy game. Because your <laughs> your character, the main point of the game is not to starve to death, but you're also like wandering in this oh. nightmare land where there's like monsters constantly trying to eat you and it gets dark. And unless you start a fire, you'll be eaten by whatever's in the dark. And it's really nerve wracking. I tried playing it on the Switch. It's not playable on the Switch. It's just too hard and also really stressful. But it looks like Don't Starve but more lighthearted because you're a cat. And you have like little cat powers. I like it. Yeah, I did just watch like while you were talking, I had like the trailer playing or whatever. It is at one point where just some weird things are chasing after the cat, like jumping in the air. And I was like, yeah, I don't know if I want to play it. And it looks really <laughs> weird. Like, that looks too stressful. It's kind of creeping me out. <laughs> yeah. But it does look, I mean, it does look like a 
a fun just like go explore kind of game too it, it does like as a kid oh he's limping it also looks like a like a hack and slash like a, a nice combination oh, yeah. of everything does the cat fight yeah the cat has like a little he carries like a sword and you can get a little armor and other stuff on stray oh on stray no i'm looking at uh what is this oh wait is this stray? no that's <laughs> like cat I'm... quest no on stray it's totally different Oh, cat quest. Yeah. This, yeah. But, uh, I was like, this cat is carrying around a bucket in its mouth. I don't know if he can have a sword <laughs> and shield. Uh, no, stray. Stray was, you're like in a, like everything's a robot. And you're like talking to a robot mm-hmm. at one point and robots. Yeah, stray looks really cool. Stray looks pretty intense. Does it? Yeah. I'm looking at it right now. I've never, I don't think. <laughs> I think I've only ever seen like Jason plays played on YouTube, like when it first came out and I didn't watch very much of it. I I don't think you would be able to play this, Peyton. It looks too stressful. <laughs> <laughs> Does it? There was one scene where it's like the cat's running and there's like a shadowy monster, not a monster as a robot. And it's like moving. I don't know. I would watch, I would watch a video of you playing this. <laughs> Oh, but you can have him like tear up the couch. <laughs> uh, you can have him like rub up against things and people <laughs> like cats do. That's all I would do. That's, yeah, that's how you that's would play would the, game. the game. <laughs> It'd be like, oh, you have to fight this thing soon. I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna <laughs> like, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go walk around over here and just rub the cat against stuff. I, I saw... I saw some of this, like the making of the game, and they had a cat in a full like motion capture, where they have like the the suit with the little dots what? all over it. It was really, it looked adorable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was a little little cat. That sounds cool. If they ever released it, which they have to, right? Like some of the first or sh- second gen Pokemon games on switch yeah like red blue yellow i stopped playing after yellow to be just honest um last one i played was pearl (laughs) we're showing our age difference (laughs) Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, i think i i think i borrowed uh, uh blue from somebody like a friend and then i think i got yellow like i bought myself yellow nice because it was like, of course, it has Pikachu and he follows you around on the screen. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was such a mind blowing thing. Um, and then if you you could teach you could teach Pikachu surf and then you could surf on him. <laughs> and that, you know that. That's yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> uh, and then finding missing no in, in, in yellow was a pretty was a pretty fun thing. <laughs> um, and all the duping that you could do. I don't think it was called duping back then. It was just like make a lot of high potions or whatever it was. <laughs> you know, the, there there wasn't terminology then. I think but <laughs> Wait, I would I would like to go back and play those. That would be cool. But like using a controller, like I wouldn't I wouldn't want to play it like if there is a way you could play it like on an emulator. Yeah, on the computer, but but using a controller, like I wouldn't want to do it on a keyboard and mouse. I'm sure there's like something I feel out like there. I feel like that would be fun. Yeah. And and if we both did it and like raised our Pokemon and then like battled live, like that would be fun. Like on the old ones. <laughs> yeah. Because that's what you could do. Uh, so, uh, man, I don't know how you would do that without having, you know, just the actual we wired would, connection. I think we would have to have <laughs> Game Boy. <laughs> well, no, no, no. No, some of the newer ones, I, I think with, uh, I don't know if it was Game Boy Pocket or Game Boy Color, they had... um an infrared scanner in them. And so if you lined up the, the tops of the game boys, if you pointed the tops of them at each other, um, you could trade Pokemon and and battle like on the old, on old game boys. (laughs) Super cool. (laughs) So, so yesterday when I told Patty, I was like, can you get me a bigger Squishmallow? And, um, and she's like, do you want a Pikachu? And I was like, yeah, I think I do. Because we saw them at Walmart. Yeah, they have them. And because uh, they had they had like two or three of them. And then that's when she found 
Peyton. <laughs> no, I said my name. Um, and I, I was so disappointed that it was a stack of blueberry pancakes. I was so upset. I think that's the most appropriate Squishmallow. A stack of blueberry pancakes with a pat of mm, butter on top. Classic maybe. Peyton. And I don't mind... I don't mind pancakes, but could it be regular pancakes? Why did they have to? I don't like that they had stuff in it, which is like a reflection of like everything about me and food. Why did they put blueberries in it? I don't like blueberries. Also, someone calling you a blueberry pancake sounds like some sort of obscure insult. <laughs> that would it does. somehow hurt my feelings. I don't. I I feel like I feel like that's actually a very specific insult. Yeah. It's like, I don't know why it hurts so much. If someone said, look at this, look, look at this blueberry pancake over here. Can you believe this guy? Oh, this is a stack of blueberry pancakes. <laughs> like, I feel like I know what that means and I don't like it. <laughs> this is like you just attach your deepest insecurities. I did. I did. I did. I did yeah. <laughs> I'm having flashbacks to high school. <laughs> no. No one ever called me a stack of blueberry pancakes, but I did get called things that like that would be like the modern day equivalent of <laughs> oh, I love like so the much. terminology now when someone says like that's uh, <laughs> sus, which I don't even know if that's cool anymore. <laughs> no, I don't but think so. I feel like uh, <laughs> look at this stack of blueberry pancakes over here. I feel like would be like a new a new term that we don't know about. yet. Yeah, you because we're not I, you're just not hip with the terms. But all breakfast foods, negative connotation. Oh my gosh, I yeah. haven't done Wordle in like two days. It's because they yeah, I get sad. They change I don't play. They changed <laughs> Do you say I get sad so sometimes I don't play it? <laughs> I get sad sometimes because honestly, <laughs> Patty's like really good at it. Oh yeah. Well, Pat, and I always feel really dumb. <laughs> um, Every time I see Pat, I was the first time I posted my score for cro the crossword that we did. I was very proud mm -hmm. of it. I was like, they aren't going to beat this. And then Patty's was like 15 <laughs> Patty seconds. Had it in like 45 <laughs> seconds. I, was, I can't even <laughs> type in the answers that quickly. <laughs> like, how did she? Oh, I God. can't. <laughs> I can't read and comprehend what the clues are that fast. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, that sounds good. I'm gonna stop it, and then yeah, you'll 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 probably see at some point when it finishes. Cool, cool. Uh, uploading and stuff. All right, love you, bud. I we'll see it. All right, all right. Talk to you later. later. Bye. Thanks for listening. You can follow the show on Instagram at the Nerd Lemon. If you would like to support the show, consider telling a friend. Or if you have some extra gill or pokey dollars lying around and you'd like to send it our way, check out our Patreon, where you can support the show and also gain access to exclusive content. You won't believe who these celebrities are related to. <laughs> What? I, I have to click on it. Tia to. and Tamara are related. <laughs> I, I think for me, I'm like, I don't want to get caught in this clickbait. You're not going to get me.